Hello and welcome to the cab introduction video. The purpose of the CAB, or Change Action Board process is to document and qualify changes to the processes, materials, equipment, and specifications into the production flow. The procedure is documented in QA, ENG, PR001. The process is outlined here in this diagram. Determine the level of the change. The change level will identify the list of requirements. Prepare the CAB presentation with the overall plan. Convene the CAB and present the CAB presentation. If the CAB is approved, start gathering all of the relevant information and start the experiments. Once completed, update the CAB in preparation for the final CAB review and approval. Reconvene the CAB and present the results, conclusions, and recommendations. If the CAB is approved, implement the changes. This outlines the ideal path for the CAB. However, during the first CAB review, there may be some modifications required for the CAB, or the CAB may be rejected. The CAB may need some modification during the final CAB review or the CAB may be rejected based on the results and conclusion. Step 1. Place the level of change here. Add the team members, the area responsible for the change, the change type and if there are any cost impacts. Step 2. List all of the documents that need to be reviewed and updated. The proposed change may require updates to current documents such as, work instructions, the MES, FMEA, OCAP, control plans. Step 3. What is the reason for the change? Identify positive and negative effects due to the proposed change. Step 4. What is the qualification plan? Add split lot numbers if a split is required. Step 5. What is the production pilot plan? Add pilot lot numbers and the duration of the pilot. The next section is where you will place the results, conclusions, and recommendations. Based on the procedure, a guideline is provided at the end of the slides. A level 1 change is a major change that will affect our internal customer. It will also affect the fit, form, or function of our product. A level 2 change is a major change, and may affect the fit, form, or function of our product. A level 3, minor change or a level 4 document change will not affect the fit, form, or function of our product. Use this table as a guide to identify the requirements for the CAB presentation, some of the requirements will be determined during the presentation. The last few slides will give a guideline on the change levels. Determining the appropriate level will facilitate the start of the change proposal. This concludes the CAB training video. Thank you for watching.